So I'm with Jack Burton here at JWA Tooling. Recently, the company has purchased three Fanuc wire EDM machines. Uh, Jack's going to talk us through the control. You must stick around for this one because this new control from Fanuc is very intuitive. And I'm going to learn myself here about some of the features uh, that are included on this system. Uh, Jack, firstly, how long have you been using the, the Fanuc solution here? Uh, about 14 months. OK, so you had a training course at Fanuc, and now since the machines have been installed, you're fully up to speed on how it works, would you say? Yeah, yeah. It's very intuitive, very easy to use, makes life very easy for when you've got one-off jobs to set up. And okay, okay, let's start with this screen, um, Jack. What, what have we got here? So this is a basic edge-finding routine, which is used for if you're just finding a single edge on the parts. It's got uh, edging direction, which is displayed there, which way you want to go, and a reverse distance if you need that. Okay, and then uh, all touch screen. Let's go, let's go on to the second screen here, the whole center. Yeah, so the whole center as it's pretty basic, but it's very useful with if you've got a pot slot, if you're finding a center with a hole it, slot in it, you can rotate the axes to allow for the, to find the hole. And, and then with the center in direction, that's where you're going to be moving to, is it? Yes. Okay, or moving from and to. Yes. Uh, and then you've got your rough positioning. Uh, yeah. What was it, rough positioning speed? So that's how fast you rack yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So that rough positioning is for more accurate holes when you've really tied up to microns. And then you've got the other option of rapid, which travels a lot faster when accuracy isn't quite as important. Okay, and then the others, threading the wire, um, setting the finishing cycle start. So it's almost like a can cycle there, it's talked yeah. through. Uh, let's look at slot width. Yeah. So you've got four options again with one, two, and three, and just depending on which direction you want it to be on. So you're pretty much putting in your, your edge direction, you're putting in your slot width, the, the, the speed to get to that yeah. position, same again, yeah. same process. Yes, very, very, all very intuitive on the screen. Um, let's sort of skip forward here. What about things like hole parallelism? So that's for finding, if you've got two holes in a workpiece for alignment, you can find one, center fine on that, find the other, center fine on that, and use that to rotate the axes around. Okay, okay, and then circle diameter? So if you've got to find the external of a circle, if, you, if you're working on the outside, use that. And, it and one of the things that you mentioned to me is the graphical side of this and how that assists you. Is there anything you can show us yeah. here? So this is the, so the, the graphics for a program just to cut out a, some soft jaws for one of the jobs we've got on milling. So that it'll, then this displays the graphics there. And what does that do that fills you with confidence that you yeah. know that what you've programmed is right? Yes, it does. It makes a life a lot easier when you want to say, hang on, it's not doing what I want it to do. And it'll tell you where the pro in the program with certain things if it's wrong. Yeah. What, what about the diagnostic side of the machine and uh, making sure that everything is, is, is working how it should? Right, so it's got a very user-friendly maintenance page which tells you with the service life of all the items in there. And you've got your regular services, which is all your other parts of the machine. So your die guides and your other parts. Okay, and then does this go beyond this as well? Uh, it's got the filter life. So this is a very, very low hours machine, so it's... And you, you see consumable life and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you use those features? Yes, we do. They're very useful and accurate so with how long parts will last. Right, okay. Okay, and then uh, what's uh, auto wire feed diagnose? That, that is telling us where if we're having a wire break, where it's breaking which is very useful if you're thinking... Why is that useful? Uh, it, if you've got a wire break at a certain point in the program, is it breaking on the material if there's a hard spot on it, for example? And what about the AI on this machine? So the AI is very useful. It generates all the cutting parameters for the machine when you want to cut. OK, can you show us that on here? So this is the home screen of it. And now I notice here at the top you've got wire 0.25 and brass. Does it have its own database of materials and, and, and dimensions? Yeah, it does. It's got many options. This machine will cut from 0.1 to 0.3 wire. It tells it for if you're using hard or soft brass. And, and it works out all the all the, the, the feeds and speeds, the appropriate yeah. machining or, yeah. or cutting um, data. Yes, it does. So taking all this into account, I know we've had a very, very quick demonstration, but how easy has all this been to pick up? Uh, how much easier does it make your life here when you're programming and operating these machines? And how reassured are you as a result of this that you're not going to make mistakes? Oh, I, I find it a very easy, and it's been very easy to pick up with how coming into the wire EDM from a milling background, it's helped a lot when it's, you're not quite exactly sure of what you were doing when you're first starting out.